could try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange, uh. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test and Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I'll leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression, uh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times real What's going on everybody? Thanks for watching another episode of Public Land Giants uh, Today we're going to jump right into a hunt with my brother Kevin Berg um, Hunting in southern Iowa Last November, it'd be the first or second of November, Kevin was self-filming and had a big buck come in. It was a buck that we had multiple trail camera pictures of. One or two of the biggest bucks that we had on camera last summer. And sure enough, Kevin has this, this one buck come by him. And unfortunately, uh, Kevin didn't know that there was a doe behind him and was in the middle of going to full draw on this buck when the doe busted him and ended up stomping a few times and, and taking off. The buck goes on high alert, not in Kevin's shooting lane yet, and ends up taking off, going down this gully and up the ridge on the other side, never to be seen again. So we're gonna start this hunt off with that clip of Kevin's encounter with that buck and then we're going to jump right into uh, the next encounter Kevin had, which would have been back up north where we live in North Iowa, on a beautiful 10-point buck that ended up following a doe into this little slough. And Kevin made a shot on this deer, ended up hitting the deer far back. Uh, beautiful buck that unfortunately we never ended up finding, but like always with public land giants, I show everything. Things happen bow hunting. Um, there's only one way to learn and that's to experience it and have it happen. And it happens to everybody. And unfortunately, Kevin didn't make the best of shot on this deer and we never recovered the buck. Um, in the middle of tracking the deer the next day, we had a group of guys out there and we ended up bumping the buck and while doing the grid search, I ended up being in front of the group, and I filmed this buck come within 10 yards of me, Kevin shooting a Schwacker broadhead. When this buck goes out in front of me, you can actually see the big gash that Kevin left in him, and that was the last time anybody saw that deer. We look for that deer forever. A couple of days, um, and then even into the, into the shed season, hours upon hours looking for that deer. Um, I'll show you guys if I can find. I, I, I got an Onyx track on the miles that I put in looking for that deer as well as just me but other people too but the, the track picture I'm going to show you is just my track not counting everybody else's. Um, unfortunately we never found the deer so we're going to jump right into Kevin's hunt on it would have been like, it was, the, it was the very end of November, a couple days before the shotgun season. Um, we all know that the, that the bucks will tend to come back to food to replenish themselves after the rut. So getting in close to December, Kevin and I hunting over a cut cornfield. And stay tuned, you guys, to see the shot that Kevin puts on this deer. Uh, made an excellent shot on this deer and hunt from the ground pretty cool hunt so thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned
was a good no shot. He's, he's a dead, he's a dead deer. We just gotta give him time. It's been about an hour and a half since we fired the shot. We're gonna go over here and take a look at the arrow quick. I can see the arrow already and she looks bloody.
the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything
south side of the field down there, about 300 yards, maybe more. But I don't want to wreck his hunt, so we're going to wait it out here and uh, let the sun set completely, and then we'll go out after my pup. Public land giants. How's it going everybody? Well, here's the buck. Ended up shooting this guy at about, I don't know, 28, 28 yards or so. Today is December 2nd, uh, a couple of days before shotgun season starts rolling around. So um, it was getting to be crunch time. So had uh, this buck come out to us, we ended up setting up on a cut cornfield, well it was half half cut cornfield, half the field still standing and this guy came out from the north working south to the to the corn and presented that shot to me and um, not not the biggest buck in the world but I, I am very happy with this buck just because he's a three year old as well as uh, we were hunting from the ground tonight and I had never shot in a buck off the ground. Everything's been from the stand for me. So this was a, this was a first tonight. He was actually pretty exciting, a fun hunt to be on and um, can't wait for the next one. But yeah, ended up uh, putting the rage in the cage there, 20, 28 yards or so, double long shot. He ended up going about I don't know, 60, 70 yards, and we got to watch them barrel roll and the cut corn, so wasn't much of a tracking job on this one. But I'll take him. He's going to eat good. Stay tuned, Public Land Giants. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it.